Maintenance dredging of Penang Port is under investigation after a dredger was spotted leaving the harbour waters with a thick sediment plume behind it a day before tens of thousands of fish died in Teluk Bahang, Penang. State Environment Committee Chairman P. Boon po said he called for an immediate investigation after a fisherman lodged a police report on Tuesday. He said maintenance dredging is necessary, but the contractor is under strict rule to dump the dredged material 7 nautical miles or 13 kilometers from the North Channel and 6 nautical miles or 11 kilometers from Muka Head, where strong currents will disperse the material into the Andaman Sea. He said that Port Concessionaire, Penang Port Sandirian Berhad, Department of Environment and the Marine Department would investigate the operations immediately and a meeting is scheduled next week to study the data. Centre of Coastal and Marine Studies Director Professor Datuk Dr. Eileen Tan said the damage to the marine ecology in Teluk Bahang was unimaginable after tens of thousands of wild fishes found washed up dead two days and over 50,000 fish trapped in aquaculture cages died after the storm. She said on Tuesday, four days after Typhoon Lekima came, the dissolved oxygen content around the fish farms was just 1.88 milligrams per litre at a depth of 4 metres, not enough for marine life to survive. She said sediment and seawater samples were now being tested for heavy metal. However, initial checks suggest the fishes died from organic pollution at an extreme scale.